Hi, Kim Coco here, founder of Swagtail. Today's 15 minute class is gonna be all about building strength at the core, especially the transverse abdominis, which runs horizontal at the deepest layer of the abdomen. So this is gonna be a lot of fun and a quick sequence to get you up and going and energized. So if you are unfamiliar with any of the movements in these uh, postures, these things I cue here, then by all means, check it out. Hit pause, watch the video, and then come back and do the routine at these minute increments. I'm gonna go through it just like you would on your own at that nice, even pace to build heat and strength in the body. And you can repeat it over and over again to help you find that stamina at the core that will help your functional movement, it'll help your athletic performance, and it's something you can use in portions of your yoga classes if you're a teacher to help build strength for your students as well. I highly recommend you have two blocks. You won't need them right away, so just set them aside. And then we're gonna go ahead and come to sit and we're going to make our way toward Navasana. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer because we're gonna go, like I said, in one minute increments all the way through this together. So get a smile on your face and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and come to Navasana first. You can keep your hands behind you if you want some stability, but we're gonna move if you're ready. So take your deep breath in here. As you exhale, start to build momentum and come up and take cactus arms. So we're gonna inhale, sit, exhale here, inhale up, exhale down, Navasana. See if you can take as much energy to stand as possible. If you need to rock and roll and help your way up to stand, do that. Otherwise, see if you can find just the strength in your legs to rock yourself to stand. And again, this should be a lot of fun today. So have some fun with yourself and notice if there are parts that are challenging more than others. See if you can breathe in and out through the nose as best as possible. Finish in standing position. And we're gonna start by taking the right knee out parallel to the floor or extend the right leg. So we're just gonna build some heat. We'll start with the knee bent the first round and then we'll go straight the second round. But if you're a diehard and you wanna go first, extended, do so. And we're just gonna take 30 seconds each side. Breathe in and out through the nose if you can. Come back to Tadasana, switch sides. Left leg lift. So just building some psoas strength. Feel the belly button draw toward the spine and the hips stay level, collarbone broad and breath even in and out through the nose. Take another deep breath. As you exhale, lower the left leg down, inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. So if you've taken the other sequence, you'll notice we do a variation between lengthening and strengthening here. So feel your feet press into the floor. Imagine you would take your feet wider on your mat just to spread the feet. Feel the feet press down to the floor. Feel the inner thighs spiral up, sitting bones lift and spread. And find that evenness of breath in and out through the nose that can sustain you through movement. On your next inhale, come all the way back up to stand. We're going right back into the leg lifts. Stand on your left leg, lift the right. Either keep the knee bent or extend the right leg out. Flex through the foot. Broaden across the collarbones and see if you can keep the torso as upright as possible here as you lift. Let it shake, let it be wobbly, smile, <laughs> make faces at someone in the room if they're doing it with you. Have fun here 
As you exhale, lower the right leg down, press the right foot into the ground, lift the left leg up, and breathe. You keep a really nice, slow count of breath. Maybe it's three full cycles. Five count in, five count out. But you might be breathing a little quicker due to the intensity of the work. So just breathe as deeply as you can. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Draw the belly button toward the spine as you exhale, hinge and fold forward Uttanasana one more time. Maybe shake out the head, yes or no. Maybe take a bind behind the back if that feels good. Just bend the knees generously if that feels necessary as well. Think of this as your feel good reset between challenging poses. Take another deep cycle of breath here. And then slowly walk your way back to forearm plank. So drop the forearms to the ground, make sure your elbows are underneath the shoulders. And you can choose to clasp the hands or keep the forearms parallel. Just hug the shoulder blades down the back. Elbows draw toward one another, but the collarbones broaden here. And then feel space between the shoulder blades. Feel the front of the pelvis draw towards the front ribs. And feel a long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way out through the heels. And you've got two more really long cycles of breath here. Again, find the breath brushing past the back of the throat stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system through that vagal nerve, cranial nerve 10. As you exhale, slowly press back to dolphin pose or child's pose if that feels better to you. Just let the head and neck dangle. Use this as your resting pose. Keep space between the shoulders and the ears. Keep reaching the hips high. So maybe that means bending the knees to feel the hips move up and back. Just mixing it up from knees to hands to feet to seat. As you exhale, drop your knees back down. Take a breath in child's pose. And then inhale your way up to a seat. Swing your legs out in front of you, grab your blocks. We're gonna do an L sit here. So fingertips point forward, broaden across the collarbones, feet hip distance apart. As you inhale, lift the hips, lengthen the spine. So you have inverted table, take your deepest breath in, Use your exhale, start to rack back on the heels, lift the hips and lengthen. Inhale, lift, maybe take the head back if that's comfortable, but you're gonna exhale, draw in, and to this tiny little spot so you can lift the hips. So move with your breath, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to lift. Again, as you find core strength here, maybe you don't need the blocks but it's kind of nice to create that space the first time around or many times around just to keep the movement fluid and effortless or a little less effortful. Don't be misguided by the chimes. You've got two more to go and then we're gonna hold inverted table. So take one more full round, curl in, Drop the hips down if you want to just sit there and lift the heart. Otherwise, stay in an inverted table. Lift the heart, broaden across the collarbones, open the front of the shoulders. 
and then just feel the whole front body lengthen as the glutes soften. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sink it back down. You can get your blocks out of the way. Maybe shake out the wrists if you need to. But we are coming back to forearm plank. Hands clasped or palms parallel and forearms parallel. And we're gonna add a little movement this time. So as you inhale here, lengthen the spine. Exhale, take right knee toward right shoulder. Exhale back. Actually, take your inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, tuck left knee, left shoulder. Inhale back. So you're just kind of crawling in this plank, forearm plank. And if this feels too crazy, just take tabletop. Knee to shoulder. Just building some heat here. I told you this is gonna be fun, right? <laughs> we are having fun, as my friend Jack would say. Take your time. Move with the breath. Methodical, strong, happy, <laughs> having fun. Breathing here. One more each side. And then child's pose or dolphin, once again, your choice. Again, just finding as much space and breath in these postures to rest. you're in dolphin, give your arms a break. Take a breath or two in child's pose. And then inhale, come back up. We're coming to low loss and I'll grab your blocks again. We're gonna come to almost like a almost like a little ball position. So hands on the blocks, hug the shoulders down and in, press the forearms away, and then maybe come as light on the toes as you can and hover the left foot. So you're rounding the spine and just really building some heat to stay in this tiny little ball shape as best you can, and then switch sides. Come on the left toes, hover the right foot but keep pressing in the block, round the spine, just finding as light, lightness as you can on the left toes, lifting the right, take another few rounds of breath here, let it shake, let it be crazy, and slowly release, come back down, keep one block, set one aside, we're coming onto your back for supported bridge pose, block, long edge, parallel to the edge of your mat, so it's just underneath the rim of the pelvis. And you can choose to stay right here, or maybe hug the right knee into the chest and extend the left leg long. Getting more into the psoas, the hip flexors, everything that we've worked so far to strengthen. And we'll take Three rounds of breath, each side. If you are clasping a knee, take the right sole of the foot to the ground before you hug the left knee in. Stay there with the right knee bent or extend the right leg long. You've got about three more long cycles of breath here since we went into the next chunk of time, but this feels pretty good after all the strength building we've just done. And then you have the option as you bring the right knee in to 
to lift both legs up toward the ceiling into an inverted supported bridge or legs at the wall variation or take your block aside and we're going to come to headstand that would be your other option so you got a minute upside down take your time whichever way you want to go any inversion of choice the minute starts now so don't be fooled by the timer you've got this Find your breath even, wherever your legs are reaching up. Feel all four corners reaching up as though you were standing on the ceiling. Feel your front ribs draw in and your spine long. If you want to make this more challenging still, you could always come to your L shapes and then lift back up or take a breath or two and pause in your L shape here before you come back down to child's pose. Take your breath, let it come back to neutral. Stay there in child's pose or come back to a seat. Maybe pause there in meditation just to really let the effects of your practice settle in. Or if 15 minutes is all you've got today, just blink your eyes open with the hands at the heart. Thank yourself for being here, building the strength and courage and tenacity on your mat that you can take with you off of it. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. Namaste.